The route we're taking is walking from Kington to Knighton in the north. It's about just under 13 miles, about 21.35 kilometres when I measured it. And if you want to see a 3D flyover of the route, it's just coming up now! Welcome to Kington and the beginning of today's walk and we're going to be walking past of part of the Offers Dyke Trail. So we're starting at the War Memorial and then we're going to go and walk up past the clubhouse and it takes about five hours and it's about 13 miles. So it's about half past ten now and uh, let's go and see what there is to see. Right, this morning we're walking with the rest of the antagonist contingent, Mrs Antagonist and the two junior antagonists. And uh, we've also brought one of the dogs, Bracken, so she's going to get a good walk. Pretty much. To our left of us is a disused quarry. To the right are golf links. So hopefully we won't get hit by any golf balls. Hello. People up on the green up there, looking down in the valley where Kington, and people ready to tee off just down there. Walking with M and Finn this morning. Schlangwiber Clueth Offer, Offers Dyke Path. Or a trail, as everything has to be now if you're creeping in Americanisms. We say paths and ways. Here's Mrs. Antagonist. And you're joining us in the first week in August. It's about 20 degrees today, forecast, the wind on our backs from the southeast. Visibility should be good to very good. And as you're walking, we're throwing up a, a whole load of little tiny white, I guess they're moths rather than butterflies. Uh, so it's obviously been good conditions for them. One of the joys in sheep country is you have to keep stopping to put your dog on and off the lead. Be responsible. Drink stop. Rehydration.
Little thirsty boy. Team of please because there's lots of up and down in today's route. Makes it more interesting. There's the farmer and the sheepdog. Check on their flock. One of the hazards of walking in sheep country, as my daughter has just pointed out, is that I have poo all the way up the back of my leg. <laughs> they say it's lucky for you. <laughs> to check our route, slight deviation. By mistake, we almost walked down into England. That's looking across to the Mulvans there. That's looking east. And we're right on the border with England and Wales. So far the marking of the path has been pretty good but it's just failed us here. So we're actually on the Offers Dyke, there's a bit of information here and uh, actually Offers Dyke, the actual dyke, doesn't actually meet with the path all that often and it doesn't actually follow much of the boundary between England and Wales and uh, it doesn't actually go from the Welsh north coast to the south coast, it's only about 80 miles out of the whole 168 mile route and uh, the end of it really for runs out at Kington in the south where we've just been. The same King Offa, King of the King of Mercia, second most important Anglo-Saxon king after Alfred the Great. They say, uh, starred himself from Charlemagne, born about 756, died about 796, so eighth century Anglo-Saxon. He bordered right up to Northumberland, across to East Anglia, and down to Wessex. And he also had overlordship, or tried to have overlordship of the the tribes down in uh, East Sussex and, uh, and Kent as well. The dyke doesn't always follow the top of the hills like you would expect, but actually pushes down into the Welsh lowland areas. So they think Offa was trying to make a statement to the Welsh tribes saying, look, we're more powerful than you are. We've actually, we're not afraid. We've pushed our dyke right into your lands, trying to make a statement of power. And uh, he made provisions for his son to take over, but I think his son only lasted 155 days before the usual power struggles set in and he gets bumped off. I've been saying we're in Worcestershire, but I just read the footpath sign and it says we're in Herefordshire, so you live and learn. Offer starred himself on Charlemagne and so he put his head on the coins, like the Romans, like the Greeks. But interestingly, he also put the head of his wife on some of the coins as well. So it's the only king, English king to do that. So that was very enlightened, wasn't it? The chronicles say he was buried in at Bedford, but they don't really know if that's Bedford in Bedfordshire or whether it's another Bedford somewhere else. So his grave is out there still to be discovered. I've cut down a whole load of coniferous forest there. There was a fashion 40, 50 years ago for people to plant coniferous woodland to, for tax gains but now they're realising their mistakes so they're, in ecological terms they're cutting it down and hopefully restoring it to more natural habitat. I quite like these gates, they're actually a gate within a gate. It makes it a lot more easy to get through both with dogs and with rucksacks. Going through kissing gates you can't really go through them with a rucksack on, you get stuck, well particularly if you're as fat as I am. The actual path goes off to the left. We've been tinkers. The path goes off from the crossroad down there and it misses out this hill. But we thought, let's go and do the hill! Down into England. Looking north. I think we're, what the Americans say is, we're summiting. Like meddling. Oh, meddled. We've summited. We've meddled. Yeah. 
Well done chaps. So the route onwards is, um, I don't know if you can see, sort of down to the that house there, along up, then we follow this line, hedge line, up over this hill and beyond. That was fun. We beelined it off the top of the hill through all the bracken. It might have been better to go on the path. Come off the hill now, and now going across Lower Harpton Farm. Join up on a road, one of the few bits of road walking. We're down in the valley now. I'm going to walk across, across the flat of the valley over the ford to that house and then round those trees. Oh, into the badlands now. Welcome to Wales, Crossy Grimru. It's nice and cool here. Drop down to the old road, the old bridge. Traditional finger sign on the other side of the road, the new bridge. The river something, I'll have to look that up when we get back. Old bridge. Big hills in the distance. Stone barn, slate roof. Quite a posh house. Kia, kia. Hear the buzzards. 1200 years. All the trees grow up. Bit more overgrown here. There's an interesting lump in the distance. Down and over the road. Some sort of nest here. If I put my foot in, you'll be able to see the scale. There we are. It's quite a nest. Is that a squirrel's nest? Is it a dray? Or something bigger? Who knows? Hi, we just stopped for a bit of lunch. I got chased out of a field by uh, some horses. Mind you, it was their field, so fair enough. I think they, the moment they smelt food, they were interested. So, recharging our batteries. The clouds are starting to bubble up. We're about halfway now, so we need to get a bit of a a move on. We set ourselves a deadline because we've booked a taxi for five o'clock and it's now three, getting on for three o'clock so we've still got many halfway so we need to uh, get a bit of a stomp on. Bracken panting away like a steam engine. So you've given her a drink but it's got her tongue out, lolling out, cooling off. Now, don't turn off. Hang around to the end of the video because you won't know whether we made it or not. Just after the lunch, I saw the next hill ahead, up that, across the top, and drop down to Knigton. What a lovely landscape. Some people are always at the back last, because they're the un most unfit. You seem to have got the sheep very excited around here. There's a meander almost turning back on itself. Oh, they promised a possible 20% chance of rain. So are we going to get wet or not? Watch it to the end and see if we get wet. Looking back where we've come, you can see the line it takes down the track. Up hedge line, up the hill opposite. I think there's a few instances of Offer styling himself as King of the English more often than not. He referred to himself as King of Mercia. How about that for a view? We live in a beautiful country, don't we? Uh, how far have we walked? 17.6 and I think I worked it out at 21.3 and I think it's going to be a bit more than that but interestingly it uh, 
we've only got about an hour and a half to go and we've still got about a third of the walk to go so are we going to make it are we going to make it to the end make sure you watch to the end see whether we make it ah! she's a beautiful creature isn't she and my wife is too the beautiful fragrant and exquisite mrs antagonist Oh, are we going to get back to the taxi in time? That's the question. I bet you're all wondering at home. Well done, team. It's a hot, muggy day. Drunk plenty of water, but we've lost enough, so that's okay. And you've seen three other sets of people today. Not many people walking off his dike. Girls up ahead. The problem is styles, they aren't always dog friendly. <laughs> Emily's going to assist. There we go. Come on, Brett. It's a good girl. Here have you come. Have you come. Yes, good, good. Come on, over you come. Yes. There we go. No problem. And we're into a field of bulls. With a red bag. Off you go, Finn. <laughs> Pamplona run. Hello, ladies. Are you Herefords? Don't know. First real cattle we've seen today. Oh, there's a monument there. What are that's to? We'll have to go look that up when we get home. Oh, poor old Em, suffering from hay fever. I think it's chestnut pollen. Chestnuts seem, sweet chestnuts seem to be out at the moment. Another awkward one to get the dog over. All the birds wheeling overhead. Just coming into Knighton. We've got two minutes to go. Are we going to make it or not? in the A448 which is quite busy. The outskirts of Knighton or Nighton depending how you want to pronounce it. Well we made it to the end. The Offers Dyke Centre. Down by the railway. Just waiting for our taxi, just rung them and they're going to come and pick us up. Hello, we're at Offers Dyke today. If you want to see a map of the route we're going to take, it's coming up. Now!